Ooh, it's spicy. I like it. Mmm! Carla Hall here. Today I am going to showcase the Muraglen tomatoes with which are rich, complex, organic. I am going to make tomato, bacon, and olive biscuits with a Bloody Mary jam. It's going to be delicious, especially with these wonderful tomatoes. Black pepper, because any of anybody who loves Bloody Mary, you know that you have that black pepper. So black pepper, smoked paprika, salt, celery seeds, thyme, and a garlic, which I'm going to smash, a little bit of sugar, because it's jam, and then horseradish, right? Horseradish, Worcestershire sauce, vodka, and pickle juice. All of the things that you love in a Bloody Mary. So as my pan gets hot, I'm going to do about two tablespoons of oil. Everything goes in. Look at that. Look at that. Add my tomatoes and I'm going to pour them on the spoon so they don't splatter. Yes, the sound of goodness happening in this pot. I have some sugar and I have about a tablespoon of honey. Okay, I'm just gonna mix that in. This all comes together so easily and so beautifully. Pickle juice, I have never met a pickle that I do not like. So, pickle juice and the vodka because it's a Bloody Mary jam. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the hot sauce. What is the best part of a Bloody Mary but that spiciness? This is the moment of truth right now. So our beautiful tomatoes with all of those spices, they've cooked down. It's, it's taken about 30 minutes. And so if you want um, a less chunky jam, then take a spoon, the back of a, a wooden spoon or a potato masher and just mash your jam and then that big piece of garlic I'm just gonna take I'm gonna take that big piece of garlic out I just set it aside mm. oh it's spicy I like it mm. what better way than to use these complex and beautiful California grown Mirglen tomatoes than to make a tomato, bacon, and olive biscuit. What? <laughs> yes, I know. So I decided to start with a white wheat flour because I want all of that nuttiness. So in here, I've got the, um, the white wheat, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and a little bit of sugar. So that's just, all of that goes in here. And then I'm going to add, again, pantry items, thyme, and dried oregano. And what I like to do when I have these dried herbs is just pinch them in between my fingers, especially when I'm making biscuits. Oh, it smells so good. So delicious. All right. So the next thing is I'm going to grate my butter. I have really, really cold butter and I roll the butter in the flour so that if you have hot hands, then don't worry about your hot hands because the, the barrier will be the flour. So just a regular box grater. Like that, just great. Okay, once I get through half of the butter, toss it in the flour, make sure that the little shards that we just created separate. I just sort of press the butter pieces to make them flat. I have here six pieces of bacon, it's thick cut. I use the bacon that I know isn't really salty and I went ahead and chopped it up. I also have a mix of green and black olives, some foil cured olives, because again, we're working with all of those complex tomatoes and it's beautiful Mirgling tomatoes. And I thought that the celery would go really well. so. I cut up some celery and I sauteed them in a pan until they were translucent and but still a little bit of bite. So all of that goes in. Yes. It's gonna be so good. 
this is where the tomatoes come in. So I'm using the tomato sauce and there are all of these complex flavors in with the tomatoes, like garlic powder. So that goes in here. That's the tomato sauce becomes part of my liquid. And if you have never had buttermilk with tomatoes, the acid works beautifully. Now I have, um, because I made bacon, I have bacon grease. So instead of shortening, I'm going to use uh, two tablespoons of bacon grease. And here's a trick. Now normally I might put my shortening in in the dry mixture and work it in with my hands, but I'm going to add my fat to my tomato buttermilk mixture and I'm going to whiz it up with an immersion blender. And so I'm going to have this beautiful fatty buttermilk with the tomatoes. If you don't want to use the bacon fat, you can use shortening. Um, if you want to use oil, you can. You won't have that same richness, but you will still have a delicious biscuit. So I make a well in my dry mixture. Then I pour in the wet. And this moves pretty quickly. So I like to work with a rubber spatula because I do these hash marks, bringing in the wet, right? Turn or two, just make sure that everything gets all mixed in, but not over mix. That's the secret to great biscuits. You don't want to over mix them. So here's another secret. I coat my surface with oil. Okay. Then I take my bench flour, and I put that down. And wherever the oil is sprayed, the flour sticks. And that keeps you from taking up all of that flour with the wet biscuit dough. I cannot get over how good these already smell. Okay, so now a little more flour. Now I just roll my dough so that it's not sticky on the outside, right? Pat, 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 pat. And I have my little bench scraper here and I can make these little turns, fold. Wherever I see a little bit of wetness, I just sprinkle a little more flour, but not too much. We don't want to add too much flour. Okay, turn, 90 degrees. Another turn. You see, I did that letter. Okay. What's happening is all of those shards of butter are sort of interlocking and creating layers. Because I like that crispy bottom. I'm not going to punch these biscuits out. I could, but I think that I want these nice square cocktail biscuits. So I'm going to go right in half. So let me show you how I'm going to top these. I have some tomato sauce and I put in a little bit of butter and I just put it in the microwave to melt the butter. And that is going to be the topping of my biscuit. So now I finish them with a little bit of coarse black pepper. My oven is at 475. These are going to bake for 10 minutes and just wait for it. Look at these beauties. I mean, come on. Yes, Mary Glenn. <laughs> I think I'll add some of this beautiful Bloody Mary jam. Tutu. Ha ha ka uda. If you don't know, that's me tooting my own horn. Mm, these are so good. Okay. Mm.